Hello, everybody, and welcome to another romp around with your friends at Half Gen. That's us. We're your friends. Uh, I'm Chris, joined today by Ross. How are you, my friend? I'm doing fantastic Fan now that I see we are playing Ratchet fantastic. and Clank Rift Apart. Which is, funny enough, the word I would use to describe this game. It fantastic. Is so it is so <laughs> good. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Uh, so we're yeah. going to pick up uh, kind of where I left off here. We are playing this, uh, just so everyone is aware. Look at that load time! Yep. Uh, we are playing... Oh, right. I had her in armor, and I was going to change that back. Um, we are playing in the performance ray tracing mode. Uh, so, mode. yeah, the the only mode, really. You know? Where's the... I want to unequip um, this. Yeah, so Chris there is about, say, six or seven hours in, would you say? uh no like i think my play time was like four something or four something uh and then i'm like i think i'm no it might be six two. i'm sorry no no i don't know and then i'm like a, a planet or two away from the final boss fight so we both we both put some time in and chris has a much more uh a much bigger history with the franchise than i do uh but as basically a a newcomer to the franchise i've played others but i've never finished any of them i adore this game it's just it's every aspect of it is fantastic like the only gripe i have with the game is such a tiny one and it's like oh. the dialogue that always plays where it's like it thinks you're lost oh, yeah hold on the morts yep normally she nabs them from those rock islands up there but i guess she's too tired to fly today Partying again? Don't worry, I'll grab them. Oh, you're a peach. We'll be waiting right here when you get back. Rivet will be back with those big juicy Zerp stones anytime now. I just want to take a moment here. Uh, look at that. Oh, look at that smile. Look at that fur. Just appreciate that fur. Look at the ray traced reflections on Clank. <laughs> you come on. <laughs> Look at it. Man, this game looks so good. <laughs> it's incredible. Look, you can see her reflected in him. This game is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> And come on, look at look at that smile. That's a winning yeah. smile right there. Uh, I like I like Rivet a lot. I like Rivet a lot more than I expected to. She's but great. like this game, it just looks incredible. You know what? Screenshot. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Photo um, for a reason. But yeah, this is like a pretty much locked 60 FPS. How's it floating, yeah. Maynard? Uh, the yeah, Morts are I, great. They're all named yeah. Mort. Uh, for anybody wondering, that's why they're the Morts. I don't know. Like, I didn't really expect it. I instinctively tried to sprint in this game, and I love that it has a sprint. It's mm. it's a very small yeah. thing and I love it. Yeah, um it's... so this is like a couple planets deep at this point. Um This is just what Trudy needs. Technically I've already done stuff on this planet, but this is like a new mission on an old planet. Um let's go over here. Yeah, that's one thing the game does really well is they'll drop you off on a planet and a lot of the times there will be your main story objective and there will also be an optional objective that you can check out. And then sometimes later in the story, new optional objectives will pop up, which gives you a reason to return, along with just kind of clearing out any golden golden bolts or anything. So. Oh, no. <laughs> so sweet and thank you in person. I loved this. The first thing when I heard the Mort's talk, I said, Ross is going to love these guys because they all sound like Sarah Palin. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair. I don't endorse Sarah Palin. I, know. I just like to do impressions of Sarah Palin. <laughs> You'd be a great Mort. Oh man, it's it just sounds like Minnesota. It's great. <laughs> I love this about this game, where you do the first step of a quest, and then it's just like, oh hey, like I'm gonna mark the rest of them on your map so you can just go get them. Anytime yeah. you want. Mm -hmm. Don't you know? 
Yeah, and so, like, and the the rewards for for this kind of quest and for a lot of the side quests in the game, like, aren't crazy. They're usually armor pieces. But the beautiful thing about the armor is that there's a head, chest, and leg piece uh, for like each set. But you don't, and they all provide like passive bonuses. But you don't need to have them equipped to get the bonus. You yeah. just have the bonus all the time, so you can really customize exactly like how you want Ratchet or Rivet to look at any given time. So you're not locked into like fashion, fashion Ratchet, uh, Ratchet fashion. But you're not forced to be Ratchet. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. Uh, uh, also, oh, you you, you, you have to. to you have to. They're so much easier to see. Exactly. <laughs> I, I I will tell this to everybody. You change it to the fucking energy drink from, uh, what's it called? Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. Yep. Yep. It's, everybody yeah, should do this. I think once you get once you find two golden golden bolts, is it bolts or golden nuts? Golden bolts. bolts. Golden, golden nuts would be too funny. Uh, once you find two of them, it, after every single one you find, there there's like a an extra you can change, like the color of Ratchet's hammer or Ratchet's wrench, or like I have the gold hammer on. You have, yeah, you do have the gold hammer on. Um, yeah, hammer but yeah, that's baby. one to where you can change the bolts to be either like glowing blue orbs, which are also good because they like physically glow, which is nice. Like rubies, the cans of I think charge from Sunset Overdrive. And yeah. There's one other one that I can't remember, but. Um, but yeah, it makes it so much easier to see because the bolts in this game, they aren't like pristine silver. They're like kind of bronzy and gold. Yeah, and so they blend into a lot of the environment. So I'm I'm glad you did the same thing I did. You have to. You're yeah. crazy if you don't. Yeah. It's just the game is so smooth, man. I know. Like these transitions. I need to get another. I got to get a thing over here. Do I have? Oh, I do have these. I love how they just like give stuff to one character or the other and the other one just has it. Like they don't explain it. They're just like, no, they have it. Don't worry. Just, oh, no, just, they, just don't they, worry about they, it. They totally do explain it the first time you play as Rivet and you talk to Mrs. Zircon. She's like, well, I just figured that we oh, have right, a, yeah. a shared account for uh, your other friend. Yeah, no, that like, that's right. I wasn't thinking about that. But it's like, oh, uh, let me show it. you my best, uh, my favorite weapon in the game. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you've really listened to Mr. Fun Guy, oh, uh, I do. but he is great. Like, he comes out, he's like, let's have some fun. And then the more you use him, he's just like, I love having fun, even when I don't want to. And he's just like increasingly like pissed off. And he's just like, yeah, fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just I think he... He was one of my first. That's enough fun weapons. for one day. That's so good. <laughs> I, I, he was one of my first three weapons that I fully upgraded. Oh yeah, like he's, he's so, so good. He's yeah. just so like lethargic all the time, and he's just like, yeah, fun. Uh, it, it really hits too close to home to, for me, to be honest. Yeah, but it's great. He's like your spirit fungus. <laughs> God, another podcast title we can't use. Great. No, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, shit. <laughs> This is the but risks like the we take. On the, like, the chrome so can I the, float on this now? Bit. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I had no, to find not. out. It was Only for science. On yep. Only on those things. Oh, man. But yeah, all like the rift stuff is really cool. Like this game has a lot of like really dope transitions uh, that just work really well. The arsenal is incredible. Well, uh, I was going to say like, you should it, show, off, uh, show off your, your weapons. Yeah. Um... We're gradually getting fights, so we'll we'll show them as we go. Uh, there's ones back there. I gotta figure out how to get those. I think they're underneath. So each planet has kind of like its gimmick, as it were. Um, like this planet, you get the little like speed bug guys, and they let you go on the acid because they mm. they run real fast. Yeah. Uh, oh, is it right there? Mm -hmm. Because I, uh, I th didn't walk all the way around the building. I'm like, no, they're not going to be on the building. <laughs> Ugh. How do I get the other one, then? Because there's this one. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Um, Let's get back up there, I guess. And go get those. 
So yeah, I mean, this is like just like the bonus mission for this area. Oh, I think I know how to get that one. I don't think I need to worry about that right now. No, 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 no! It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so like, these are the kind of optional things that you can totally ignore and uh, if you just want to do the main story, but, and usually that's something that I would do. But I was just having so much fun just yeah. going around the planets and traversing that I, I've been doing every single one as they've come up, except for, like, I didn't do the second stage of the battle arena right off the bat, but um, I'm not even sure if that's available after the first I bronze want, cup. But. I want the boots. Boots. Oh, yeah. But. God, the morts are great. I love their faces. Like, they're so, like, yep. emotive. Yeah, everyone in this game is a motive. It's it's so good. We do want the spy bot. We fly in, boys. Once and girls. I saw which which planet you had just landed on, I was like, yes. I'm yep. so excited for him to fly the dragon. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, I already knew I was going to fly it. Oh, okay. Well, there's another bonus of the, flying the dragon to pick these things up a lot of the time. Wait, so, hold on. How do I... I want you. Come to me. How do? Ross, how do? Uh, You cannot do yet. Oh. You cannot do that one I yet. know why. But there are specific, if you bring up your map, there are specific perches that she can land on. And then that's how you, that that's these? The only way you can get off. No, those are pocket dimensions. Never mind. Um, the tr where Trudy are the... Perch. Trudy Perch. Got on, it. Okay, yeah. Key, yeah. So those are so the places that you can, one. You can land. Yeah. Um, there's that. I already got that. But there's no things there. It's funny. I got a lot of this stuff. Like, like I, got, I got to these things and I wasn't supposed to. Um, cause I kind of maybe got a little, uh, not outside the map, but very close to outside the mm. map. <laughs> yeah. Cause where there's and a will, just... there's a way. And I found the way. <laughs> yeah. And, and another like quality of life thing that Insomniac did is like when you get close to like a, a golden bolt, it'll just show on your mini, it'll show on your map. Yeah. Same thing with like a raritanium and stuff. Mm. Like it just kind of yeah. reveals yeah. itself it, like, to you. So all the collectibles in the game don't feel like a chore to collect because there's golden, there's golden bolts, there's spy bots, and there's lorb stones, and the lorb stones uh, were real easy to get. Yeah, well, yeah, I got all of those when I, the first time I landed there. Yeah, just because, also because just like those have some really fun Easter eggs associated with them. I loved like the first one. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a lot of things. references. Yeah, it's super cool. I guess I'll just go get involved in this. Yep. Um, so let's, you know what? Let's pull out the drill hound. So I love this. This is such a cool thing. So part of like the dual sense, I like the controller stops here and it's like a half press to lock and a full press to launch. And I just love how that feels. Yeah, it feels really nice. And it's, it's genius um, to be honest, because it, usually, to aim like this, you would be holding down L2 and then hit R2 to fire. The ricochet is one of my favorites. The ricochet is really... Ricochet, I, did, I, I slept on until super late. I skipped over it a few times for another for other weapons, but it's really good. Yeah. Um, but yes, it, so it basically frees up an entire button on the controller by utilizing these adaptive triggers. Um, and it's just... Like, again, I haven't played a ton of the franchise, so I'm not sure, like, in terms of arsenal. Oh, hold on. Like, this is about to upgrade. I got to keep using this. Yeah. Like, how you oh, feel damn it. this the arsenal compares in this game to your, uh, your other Very good. Series. I love the pixelizer. Yeah. Yeah, the pixel Look at that. Hey, you just walk up and you're like, boop. <laughs> the voxels. The voxels. It's like 3D.GameHeroes all over again. <laughs> 
And like the cool thing is about this game is like it doesn't like really force you to manage resources. Like you'll you'll use up like all the ammo in your gun, but the game is just really good about having ammo all over the place. So you never feel like you're without a gun for a long time. Like there's not enough ammo that you can just keep using like one gun forever. Mm-hmm. But like look, we already got two shots back in our ricochet. And I do want to keep using this cuz we're close to upgrading it. Um and and yeah, so all this all is, weapons have can level up the more you use them, oh, which enables more, here. which enables more nodes on the to well, be upgraded on the upgrade right screen. There. Okay. Using the uh, using the rare titanium, which in the game is honestly not very rare. Yeah, very oh, plentiful. Unlike unobtainium, yeah. it is very obtainable. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, because yeah, each weapon has a, a very big upgrade tree. And yeah, if we find a Miss Zircon up. station, we'll uh, we'll yeah. stop back on that. Yeah. This is just a good Same. example of kind of like this is going to be a pretty good example of like hey here's stuff you can do in this game. Um, yeah, good vertical slice. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to kind of just spend a little bit of time here instead of bouncing around like we did in our other ratchet video. Um, yeah, it's right through that physical object. Let's go. You know. Uh, yeah, it's. Damn it! Didn't like upgrade. The, the, oh, like okay. the planets are like super varied too. Like you don't get bored of I where love you this are. Guy. The Negaton Collider. See, I'm not a huge fan of the Negatron Collider. I feel like it doesn't do as much damage as I think it should. But you know, you can get an upgrade uh, that lets it do more damage the more targets you hit with it. Yeah, yeah, I do have that. That's what it, you gotta it, get. It's definitely it definitely feels better after you upgrade it. Yeah, and it's like. But that's the case with all the guns. Like, if you don't like your gun right now, put a couple upgrades into it and you will. Here we go. Let's show it. Here's Miss Zircon. She's right. Um, So nothing's really like, you know, like you see a bunch of like blank spaces on something like the void repulsor here. This stuff will all unlock just by using the gun. As you level up the gun, you don't, it's not progression locked. So if you wanted to keep running through a zone, defeating enemies, you can max out the power of your weapon. And then, you know, you're only restricted by how much unobtainium or <laughs> God damn it. Uh, rare titanium you have. Um, and what's cool yeah. about this game is you have like these gold nodes and something like this, like Mr. Fungi, uh, l l when he leaves, he emits a toxic cloud in the area. So by unlocking all these blue nodes around that, you get that free kind of passive bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can see here with Mr. Fungi, it's level five, which means that Chris has unlocked all of the potential nodes to 100% upgrade the gun. Yeah. Whereas something Just like, like I did on the guns, blaster pistol here. Right, right. Whereas one of his other guns that isn't level five, you can see that's when the grayed out nodes are coming to play and will unlock as the weapon levels up. Uh, so like it's it's interesting, like like the node to node upgrades, I feel like are are pretty like it's usually just like increased ammo or or something like that that's not super flashy, but it's those gold nodes that add kind of specializations <gasps> into it. Ooh, the uh, drill hound. Yeah, the additional, additional lock. Yeah. yeah, that sounds kind of worth. Um, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, like that audio it, is it, definitely playing on the video. <laughs> I'm sorry fantastic. about that. <laughs> I I can't ignore it. Just a shout out to Jordan Cook for the 30 months. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's like, why is Halo playing on this Ratchet and Clank <laughs> video? <laughs> oh, bad. Uh, but, but, yeah, and you get, <laughs> you get a lot of weapons in this game. Like, where I'm at, I almost have two full weapon wheels worth of weapons. Um, yeah, this and... game has never been shy about throwing uh, a bunch of stuff at it. Like, a bunch of stuff at you and just being like, yo, let's see what sticks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It is fitting, Jordan. Thank you for 30 months. Uh, yeah, so we've, you know, as we've explained in, like, previous podcast episodes and maybe a couple videos, our process for how we record these is going to be changing soon. Um, and things are going to get a lot easier. But right now, uh, in, in a lot of cases, it's just easier for us to record this stuff, you know, over Twitch. And, you know, it's... Yeah, we are uh, recording we are videos is hard. 
<laughs> and yeah, we are not local with each other, so um, yeah, recording can be a little tough, but uh, I will be moving fairly soon to be a fair amount closer, uh, so we can record in person, which will be way glorious. better. Yep. All right, let's see. Where's there another? Is there a landing zone? I got to get this at some point. I got to get back here. Uh, but there's no landing spot there. Yeah, well, there's a, there, there's that little path that'll lead you back there. Oh, you mean from where I'm at? Yeah, the little the little rock in between the two kind of big formations. I yeah. think that's just a like, hop on to get across. Yeah, I guess I could land real quick and just go get that. It'll be fast enough with uh, these boots. Yep, the boots are a game changer. It's like when you're playing Pokemon and you get the running boots. It's like, yes, yep. finally. Or the that's bicycle. Yep, yep. And the fact that you can speed up, too. It's nice. Oh, just, no, it, I fell short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have too much air control. <laughs> it's just, this game feels so good to play. Like, it just, and like, people who have been longtime followers and stuff know that, like, I'll take not great gameplay if they're trying something crazy or if the story's fantastic or whatever but this is the complete package like i've really enjoyed the story and there's more to it than i thought there would be in terms of like characterization and stuff with some of the side characters and the game just feels amazing to play and a lot of that is the the haptic feedback in the controller too yeah like on this one it's it's a half press for one barrel full press for two and like it's stuff like that that feels like uh, like the adaptive trigger stuff is what really sells me. Like there is like the haptic feedback and stuff too, which is good in this game, but uh, it, it's really like yeah, the triggers are, are fantastic. The, the triggers in this game are they're kind of like a bunch of my wow moments have just been like, oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah, it's like like in in the back of your mind or in the back of my mind at least, it's like a company puts cool tech into their controller, and then only like a, a couple of excuse me a couple of games take advantage of it and that's what i felt like with the dual sense because like astro's playroom is or astro yeah astro's playroom wait no not astro's is it astro's playroom yes yeah uh like th that was basically an extended tech demo that was incredible and then used everything on the controller but like in this game the triggers are amazing i was in like a like a factory facility and you could hear this kind of low buzz of like machinery moving around and stuff and I could feel the vibration in the bottom right part of both of the handles. It was very faint, but it was the only place there was vibration. And it was like, wow. Like, this seems like a silly thing to get excited no, about. No, it, it's not. It's, this it's controller awesome. is a wonder. Yeah, yeah. This controller it's, is worth every ounce of praise it's gotten. This is the best generation for controllers ever. 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 Hey, give me a... Oh, there's crates over there. I didn't get it. <laughs> I just love collecting bolts. Like, it's so satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. And you need a lot of them. Because... I'm always good about getting a lot of bolts, though. The weapons eventually become ridiculously expensive. <laughs> so, like, I still have, like... Like I said, I have almost two weapon wheels full, and like the two or three that are still in the shop, I'm like not even close to having enough bolts for. So it's like I need to figure. Oh, there's a landing thing right next to it. Right here. I need to get the thing here. Hi, Morts. Should be underneath me. God damn it. Do I need one of the things? You might need one of the the the, get, the, the rideable guys. Damn it! Is one of them around here? Uh, I think their nests are marked on the map. Yeah, I know. And of course not. Okay. Um. 
There's a uh, rare titanium up here I've been trying to get for like the longest. And I can finally get it. I love the goons. Yep. Like, it's another small thing, but that dash looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, splits into four and then goes back. It's just a cool effect. Come on, level up. Yes! Level four ricochet, baby! Nice. So, yeah, like we said earlier, now that it's level four, he can put more unlock points. Uh, put more rare retaining it to, to, to upgrade it. Uh, let's see what else we got. The lightning rod is really good. Yeah, yeah, that stun locks even like bosses sometimes. Yeah. Which is was unexpected. <laughs> I hear something shooting at me. Oh hey, how you doing? Come to me. Oh. For me, this is a game that's like incredibly easy to decide on that I'm one hundred percent going to platinum this game. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not as big on platinum in games as I used to be just because I'm like, you know what? I just want to play them for fun. But this yeah. definitely strikes me as a game that, like, I'll have a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, and it's like the requirements are not hard. There's no difficulty trophies. There's no time trial trophies or anything like finish the game under a certain amount of hours. It's just, like, mostly collectible stuff, which, again, is fun to do because traversal is fun. And the thing is, is this has... Like, the little PlayStation hint things. Oh, the hints. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, say, you I, can... I, I, I was going to show you, tell you where that one is, because it was in your site. Oh, this one? <laughs> one time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where is it? Uh, Look to the hoops in the sky. When you're flying ah! around. Through... Yep, I came across that hey, by accident. Hey, how <laughs> I was just flying around having fun. What up, Moritz? Like, oh, <laughs> oh, and it's so satisfying, all of the bolts and or uh, energy drinks flying in. Yeah. And it's at times, Ow. there have been like 400 of those things on the screen after a battle. Yeah. Doesn't drop a frame. No. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, like the, the resolution will definitely drop. Mm -hmm. um, but... You know, small price to pay when the game looks this good. You know? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Ready to fly? Oh, wait. Trudy will just follow me there? Okay. Yeah. She, good uh, to know. She'll go to any stop you walk next to. Oh, I don't think I can get that yet. Damn. Um, let's go over here real quick. Just, like, look around at a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa. Hey there, big fella. <laughs> look at his eyes get all yeah. big. Also, you don't have to have the damage numbers, but I totally think it's stupid. Yeah, I love it. That's one of the uh, golden bolt yep. upgrades. Is it's? I think it's called like RPG numbers. And I yeah. was like, yes, please put it on. This is a cool one. It. Half press for shield. Oh, it doesn't work on him. <laughs> but then you full press for that. See, that's Let's try the sprinkler. a weapon I haven't bought yet because I just haven't felt like I would like it as much. The topiary sprinkler is amazing. It just leveled up our place. shatter bomb. Also, the shatter bombs, that was my go-to weapon early on. It's just, it does Out a of lot ammo. of damage, no. and it's fast. Um, let's hit him with the Enforcer. I'm trying to upgrade my guns as much as I can. Yep, I'm upgrading. Oh like, as, as soon as one of my guns hits level 5, I try not to use it at all. Yeah. Because uh, I just want to upgrade everything all the way. Well, because, like, the blast pistol, I think, is the perfect example. Because you had this yeah. pistol that was, like, single shot on the half press. You know, like, you get, like, the ADS mm -hmm. on the half press, and then, like, you just kind of tap. Single shot. And it's the same way if you... It's rapid fire if you hold the trigger, but then you get it to level 5. And it's a triple shot. Yeah. And, and like, and the, it's and, so cool. And the spread gets way less the more you upgrade Yeah, it. the more you upgrade it, the spread gets tighter, and, like... This gun just shreds. Like, it's your all-around, like... It's it's your all-around best gun, just in terms of, like, any situation. It's kind of like your plasma cutter in Dead Space, you know? It's like, this gun is always mm -hmm. good.
Yeah, and like the enforcer that you had, like when you start off, if you pull the trigger all the way down, you get two shots. When you fully upgrade it, it shoots out four shots when you pull oh it down. Oh my god. Right? And it's great. <laughs> like Sounds a, great. Like an incredible shotgun. All right, hold on. This is going to bother me if I don't get this. So we're going to go here. All right. So we can go on the... What do they call it? The scatter? Oh. The, Trudy's strong yes. enough to breathe fire now. And this is the best part, because now you don't have to land to get the fruit anymore. <laughs> yep. So now everything is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. But that's the thing with this game, is that like it's just like... They get collectibles in a way that other games don't because other games are like, oh, well, you know, I hope you find everything. And then this game's just like, we'll show you where it is and we'll make it easy to get. So they make me want to hunt this stuff down. It doesn't feel like a chore to go around. And Oh, it was high. It was high. Okay. A cool. lot of these are high. Yeah. Um... But, like, it doesn't feel like a chore to get this stuff. It's like, well, if you're going to mark it on my map and you're going to make it really easy to do, I'm going to do it. But it's not, like, it doesn't feel, like, tedious. It just feels yep. good. Just like, tedious. Yep. like it, it, there's nothing about this game that doesn't feel good to play. Yeah. And, like, that's yeah. the thing. In this video, we're going to collect all these. And, like... <laughs> It's not going to be boring, you know? It's not like, oh, well, we're just standing around doing nothing the whole time. We're almost done. Yeah, and I think before, before we do end the video, we should just travel to another planet real fast. We can go to the just, arena. We can go to Xerxes. Hey, oh, go. my God. I was devastated by, by Xerxes. You were devastated. Uh, yeah, because he said namaste. That's Mr. Zircon! <laughs> Spoilers for Ratchet and Clank. Dude, that's Mr. Zircon. He is not Namaste. He is kill stupid aliens. Now that's his son. Oh, no. His son inherited I got that, stuck on the wall. Oh, no. <laughs> like, he just, like, slowly tumbled off. Where is that above me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, rivets like hide some... out. Uh, some people might say, like, what's the point of collectibles if they tell you exactly where they are? But it's like, because it's so much fun to get there. That Lombax and chill. <laughs> that's, god damn it. <laughs> well, that's a trophy I need. Thanks for telling that to me. You're the, welcome. The, Always turn on oh, the TV. And there's a there's a Kreger bear on the couch, too. That's another collectible. Oh, fuck. Ready to fly? Hold on. <laughs> <sighs> Where? Kreger bear. He's yeah. On the couch. Give me. Yes. Uh, is this still like, level three? It's almost, almost it's, four. Here we go, like, baby! Nice, nice. Let's have to work on the pixelator a little. Yeah, just the collectibles encourage traversal, and traversal is incredibly fun in this game. Yeah, like it, so it's, it's just like, the collectibles cycle. in this game are just about like doing different things like it's mm -hmm. it's not a matter of like oh hey we're making this too easy it's hey we want you to explore this whole world and kind of see it and yeah. that's really the point and that's always kind of been the point in the ratchet and clank games it's, it's never been about being this tedious mechanic to pad game time it's just like hey there's very tangible rewards and we want you to get them you know, because we believe in exploring this world and we believe that these make the game better, you know? Yeah, and there's, and on most levels, there is a, an amount of verticality to the point where, like, it's not, like, sometimes when I was searching for collectibles, I knew exactly where they were, but I wasn't sure how to get there. And so I would be exploring different levels and different, like, elevations about, is there Trudy, a ramp no. over this way? Oh, boy. Shoot the boxes, Trudy. Yeah! <laughs> My dog is crying. Oh, oh, why are you crying? Freda, no. Hey, do you miss mom already? Yeah. Knock it off. She not always misses mom. Yep. I thought you were saying knock it off. <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> oh, you miss mom. Knock it off. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, before you before you leave that area, you should get the, get that uh, golden bolt in the hoop. Oh yeah. You're right next to it. Yep. And like you can go Boom. into the menu and see yep. what that one does. <laughs> 
Yeah, so that's the cool thing. And like the armor stuff, like what Ross was talking about before. Okay, yep. hold on. Uh, that bugged a little. Hold on. Tr oh, Trudy, yep. no. Yeah, okay. So you see right there the collection bonus. So for having like the different pieces, I get a 10% melee damage increase, reduced damage from pirates, bolts gained, XP gained, damage from goons for less, stuff like that. Yeah, and, and they're just always active. You don't have to have that specific piece of armor equipped, which is fantastic. A gold coin was Ooh, the last one for the bolts. Yeah. I guess we'll be like galactic ranger. Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Hey, guess what, Ross? And, what? Why not? Why not? And there, there is also under the gallery in the in the menu as well. There's a good like. Uh, basically character info on all the Hi characters goons. in the game. And yeah. some characters who you don't see in the game but are from previous games that are referenced to. Like Skid, who I didn't know who he was. But like in the context of the story and, and Phantom early on, he was like, is that Skid? And I was like, who's Skid? And then Skid yeah. is in the gallery. And you can read up on him. So like, they do a good job for players who aren't well-versed. Like this is a, as good a starting point as it is for longtime veterans of the franchise to come in as well. Which I really appreciate. Uh, I guess some be be careful because there's some spoilers in here. Uh, yeah. But um, but like I Copernicus down, Leslie Quark. Yeah. <laughs> I just like sat down and read through all of these. Well, yeah, because they're good. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to land. <laughs> I got overzealous with the circle pressing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's finish this up, and I guess that'll be a video because we'll get to see. You know the um. The info bot thing because this is the last one all right D did you want to stop by zerkies or no oh yeah yeah we'll we'll stop by zerkies just to show okay. something else off because okay. if nothing else yeah. we can go in the arena and just kind of like flex yeah, some yeah, yeah. That's, some that's raw gameplay you know here we gamer. go gamer. absolute gamer moment yep holy moly rivet <laughs> That's right. High five the bot. How long will it take Trudy to eat everything? Yeah. Spybot's another collectible. They aren't as, like, inherently as interesting as I thought they would be. Generally, they just give you, like, when you go into the menu, they give you background on the planet. But if you collect oh, all shit. of them, you can get a weapon. You know, I still have not gotten it yet. Hi, Trudy. Trudy's great. Yeah, everyone in this game is great. Yep. I love how uh, Zircon Jr. describes everything in this game also. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just like he is great. <laughs> well, just watch how fast this is, this transition. Mm-hmm. And we're there. That's crazy, dude. We just went to a whole different place. <laughs> People, like, underestimate how cool fast load times are <laughs> until you see it. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, my God. That's our Galactic Ranger ship. Um, And, like, honestly, I, I always get a little worried because Ratchet and Clank, like, has a problem where they don't have a lot of good villains. And so they fall back on Dr. Nefarious a lot because, like, he's, mm. like, you know, he's, like, their Joker, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, he's just their villain. And I always get a little worried because I'm like, man, like, you know, it's, I, when is it going to get old? You know, mm -hmm. it hasn't yet. And mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the best praise I can give it is it hasn't yeah. gotten old yet. Yep. I'm with you. Okay? I'm very much with you on that. What's up? This is a good example. Of My ankle! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Zerky? I'm so sorry for what they did to you. <laughs> it lives on. In I love you, man. <laughs> Take it outside. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh. Will it still give me two rare titanium for that? 
Uh, I will do that it? for two rare but... Well, that's not the reward that it offered the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, I have one more request after you do this arena thing, which okay. is to just land on your, the, your next story mission planet, because whenever you land on a new story mission planet for the first time, Mrs. Zircon always has new weapons, and I just want to yeah. see what the new ones are. Well, the Cold Snap is going to be my new one. Oh, I I can't wait to because I know it's in the game because I've seen it on her thing. But I want the the drill, not the drill, the uh, saw. Oh yeah, it's that is an example. It's of one of the best guns in the game. Every game it's in. I will say that is an example of a weapon that definitely needs upgrades for it to be. Oh yeah, very effective. I think I only have it at level two, and it is like. It's great on like small oh, no. mobs, but it doesn't do it. Oh no! It's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> See, this is like what's cool about the game is that you can also play it how you want. Like I would go about this boss fight, I think, very different from Chris, to where like. I would, I would throw out Mr. Fungi to help deal. I'm trying with, not like, to the, the trash mobs and stuff. I'm trying not to use Fungi. Yeah, because he's five. When there's a large group, I do use him. Just for here, let's some see. Let's see if he says something lethargic. Yeah. <laughs> the fun never <laughs> stops. <laughs> He's the best. Also, for those who are wondering, there is a, a quick swap system in the game. You can assign four weapons to the D-pad. I, I don't use that. Use I don't use it. Um, but it's there if you want it. All right. So did that actually give... I don't know if that gave me rare tanium. I don't think it gave you... Um, it where's my... Okay, so hold on. I have 13 now. I'm actually just curious enough that I'll do it again real quick just to see. <laughs> and we'll try and show. I, I just love listening to him talk. Ten squillion years ago. But yeah, here, let's run a high efficiency fight, I guess. I also just like watching massive enemies be turned into Toby area as well. Yeah. It's a personal favorite of mine. Once you upgrade that thing, it keeps them stunned for a long time. I mean, hey, let's jam, jam, jam it up. <laughs> um, it's, I, with this game, I do the same. Oh, thing also, I have the double fungal. Yep, yeah, it's you have to. Uh, I do the same thing in this game as I do in Pokemon, to where. I level up all my weapons evenly, so I always level up whatever's the lowest, and then just go around and <laughs> level them up one by one, because I'm crazy. How much faster this thing dies? Yep. <laughs> oh, Sue. Poor Sue. Do I need to say something? <laughs> High efficiency. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah, I know early on. I have 16 you, rare tanium now. Did you, oh, yeah. I gave you three at the end right there. Yeah, I saw it pop up. All right, cool. Nice. So you can just grind those. That's good to know. Oh, wow. That's incredible, then. I'm going to spend a lot of time killing. Sorry, <laughs> Sue. Uh, you did this to your... Well, technically, Zircon Jr. did this to you. Yeah. So you just... My poor mother-in-law. These are all your guns back here, by the way. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Because you can't use them in the bar. Right, right. And then you pop out, and then you got them back. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> Maybe not the best place for the jet boots. Par parkour? Parkour. I made it, though, you know? All right, you, so you let's... Did. All right. Um, 
you know what? I know you want me to go there, but let's go. Fortune. Hmm. I kind of want to say hi to Ratchet, but you do you. I mean, you're if it's gonna be the first time on a new planet, you'll get the same weapon unlock regardless. Yeah. So let's just stick with Ribbit, because I feel like that's more like much more story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yep. I also did these two planets in the same order as you were doing them. Oh. Just sneak a little screenshot in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't sneak it in. It's on the video for everyone to see. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I Look at might, that. I'm, I might say this may not be a, a planet with a Mrs. Zircon, so at least it's a new environment people can see. Let's take one more little screenshot there, and... I love that. And I love how smooth the transitions are. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Retta. <gasps> the transitions are good. Yep. This <gasps> I know what planet this is. This is one of my favorite levels in the game. Apologies for anyone watching the video who can hear my dog growling in the background. I can't, for what it's worth. Oh, I heard good. that one. Yep. Retta. Come it's here. Fairly classic Retta. No, don't whine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It's because she hears me. No, <laughs> she, heard, she, she she saw a dog walking outside, and she wants to play. She's like, why can't it be me? But when we get to the new place, say you're going to have a daycare to go to with with Uncle Kyle's dog. And you can play together all day. And you'll be good. Don't look at me like that. But yeah, we can probably we can probably wrap it up. Yeah, I figured I'd kill the crabs first. Oh yeah, you gotta pixelate the crabs. Oh yeah, pixelated crabs is dangerous. Yep, that is. Eight bit Again, crabs. Another uh, podcast title. Pixelated crabs are dangerous. Is a great podcast title. Uh, I found oh, Mrs. Zircon, Zircon. By the nice. way, yeah. So let's. Yep. Let oh, <gasps> the glove of doom. Yep. Yes. As I was hoping you'd get there. Yes! <laughs> the Glove of Doom! <laughs> it's still great, by the way. And it never... It was never not good. <laughs> Shots travel farther. Oh, one thing I didn't realize you could do on the upgrade screen until I watched your stream. The triangle? I never apparently... Yep, I never yep. looked at the bottom of the screen to see the chain upgrades. Was yep. That, yep. No, that's been around for a little while, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, see, this game makes me want to go back and play other games in the franchise you should play the rare. one from ps4 because it's real good yep I, it's installed I, i've i've heard some like some some blowback on that saying that they changed some stuff they shouldn't have and the tone is completely different they the changed original. a lot of stuff but it, it it's yeah. because it's it's not it's not a direct remake of that game because that game had the responsibility of setting up a franchise. That's mm -hmm. a remake of that game, understanding what the game became. God, that God, is, God. that is a modern reimagining of like, that's a, it's a love letter to existing fans. It's not a remake of that original. It is, Hey, this is a game for people who've been playing ratchet and clank since the original. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. That's where a lot of people like don't give it the credit that's due because they're like, uh, but uh, uh, my integrity. And then, no, no, go to hell. I do. I I've heard great things about the PS3 trilogy as well. Which I oh like. my god! It, like a crack in time is probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. That and up your arsenal. Each generation gets a favorite. Up your arsenal. It was the best one on PS2. A Crack in Time is the best one on PS3, though Into the Nexus is very, very good. Um, additional times, yeah. I mean, we should do that. I also like... Boom. There's a couple of, like, side gameplay things in this game segments where they change up the gameplay and kind of 
there's like clank puzzles which are great and I the clank like puzzles those. are really good in yeah, like a lot of the newer ones hard, a crack in uh, time has some of the best ones because they're that, they're yeah. really like time shifty and they're mm -hmm. fucking really fun all right um to wrap it up yeah don't want to show off too much yeah um yeah so that is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. That is a nice little chunk of the game. We showed you a nice little side mission. You got to see a little bit of the story, a little bit of a new zone, uh, some of the mechanics. You should go and play this game if you have a PS5. I, like This is a rare example of a game, and I know people hate this. This game, I hope, eventually comes out on PS4. For people who can't get a PS5, I actually hope they backport this. Because... They did it with Godfall. <laughs> I really reason. I really think this game should be in the hands of as many people as possible. Now that they've it's shown a, like hey, this is how good it looks, I think it's a good idea to go back if they want to make and do, you know, even if they want to sell it for like 50 bucks and just be like, "Look, you know, we had to make some compromises here, but here is the game running on a PS4. Even if it's 30 FPS, you know, like this is a damn good game that should be enjoyed by as many people uh as possible cuz this game yeah. is just exceptional. And one of the most exciting things to come out of this game, outside of the game, is that the developers have said that they're just kind of scratching the surface on what the PS5 can do. Yeah. Which I'm very optimistic for everything and anything Insomniac does next. I feel like yeah. Insomniac is the developer who has the best understanding of this platform right now. And, like, as much as I am anti-consolidation, I am so glad that, like, Sony... You know, like finally like got them on board as a first party because like you can just see what they are capable of in in six months they have released arg like two of the arguably the best game on the platform and one of the best cross-generational releases ever in <laughs> miles morales yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a team that like has such an intimate understanding of this hardware and it's a credit to them. Like, th these, this is a hard one because, like, I want to keep playing this game. And like Ross said, he had to stop. Yep. I would have kept going. We would have played the whole game. Uh, <laughs> this game is so hard to put down. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, but this is just a romp. We are not romping through all of a crack in time. Just some of it. Or not a crack in time. Rift apart. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> see, he didn't even correct me. We're just on ratchet. Um, God, this game is so good. Uh, thank you guys for watching this one, and uh, we'll be back with another romp very soon. See ya.